transform into that product will not be as high. And that's exactly why the KCAD is lowered in the case in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor. And finally, what about the KM value? And this, is, and this is perhaps the difficult part of understanding how this actually affects that enzyme kinetics. So why does the KM remain constant? So the KM in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor remains constant. How can this remain constant and yet the Vmax is lowered? Well, the reason that the KM remains constant is because the inhibitor, by binding onto that enzyme, even though it changes the shape of the active site of the enzyme, and so it changes the efficiency, the KCAT value of that enzyme, it does not change the likelihood that that particular substrate is going to bind onto the active site. So it doesn't matter if the inhibitor is bound to that enzyme or not, in either case, the substrate will have no problem actually binding onto that active site. So we see that in this particular equation, if we have the inhibitor bound onto that enzyme, the substrate is just as likely to bind onto that enzyme as it is to bind onto that enzyme in the absence of that inhibitor. So this reaction takes place just as likely as this reaction takes place. And because of that, the affinity of that particular substrate for the active side does not change and so KM remains the same. So Michaelis constant describes the ability of the substrate to bind to the active site and notice that the substrate can bind or dissociate from the active site regardless of whether or not that inhibitor is bound. And this simply was not true for the case of uncompetitive inhibition. In uncompetitive inhibition, once the inhibitor binds onto the enzyme substrate complex, it blocks that substrate from leaving leaving the active site and that increases the affinity of the substrate for the active site and so that decreases that apparent KM value. In this case, we saw that the KM value increased because we need a higher concentration of S to reach that same particular rate. But in this particular case, that substrate is just as likely to bind onto the enzyme in the absence as in the presence of that uh, inhibitor. And so the KM value does not actually change. So this is how these three reversible inhibition processes actually affect enzyme kinetics. In the case of competitive inhibition, we see that the Vmax does not actually change because we can ultimately overcome that inhibition by increasing the concentration of S. The KCAD, the turnover number doesn't change because the efficiency of that active side, the fully functional active side, does not change. And we saw that the KM value actually is increased because we require a higher concentration to reach the rate of Vmax divided by 2. Now, in uncompetitive inhibition, we saw that the Vmax actually decreases, and that's because at any given time, some of those enzyme substrate complexes are going to have an inhibitor present to them, and that will decrease the number of fully functional enzymes, and so that will lower that Vmax. Now, the KCAT is not changed because the active site's ability to basically convert the substrate into the product does not change. And we said that the KM decreases because once the inhibitor binds onto that complex, it prevents that substrate from leaving that active site. And that essentially uh, increases its affinity for the active site, increases the substrate's affinity for the active site, and decreases the KM. Now, in the case of non-competitive inhibition, we said that the Vmax is lowered because we have less functional enzymes and the KCAT is also lowered because once the, once the inhibitor binds onto that enzyme, it changes the shape of that active side. It no longer makes it a perfect fit for that substrate and so the efficiency of that active side is lowered. And that's why KCAT is lowered. But,
because that substrate is just as likely to bind to the active site of the enzyme in the absence as in the presence of that inhibitor, the Km, the Michaelis constant, does not actually change in the presence of a non-competitive inhibitor.